hi guys i know i disappeared for a little bit but you know how people act funny in december when they just disappear and they just you know you never know where they are but i'm right here and thank you so much for joining me if you have not subscribed yet please do subscribe and today i have a very interesting video because i'm going to share a quantum leap ritual i don't know if i should call it a ritual or let me just call it what it it's called it's the two cups method and i feel like this is very powerful obviously things are powerful when you believe in them i believe in this i did this just the other day um i did it on the 12th of december because it was very significant type of thing in you know the spiritual streets we call it the 12 12 portal so i decided to do it um i know i should have shared it before i did it but i wanted to do it first and just see like you know what i mean and then i just wanted to share it now because i feel like with the year coming to an end and there are people who are just like oh you know i didn't achieve this and i didn't do this i really want to oh, i don't feel like i did enough honey hold on chill like you still have next year you still have time don't worry i know people get very very nervous around this time that people will actually have like the anxieties heightened around the festive time you know instead of like enjoying and all these things you have like really hectic anxiety because you feel like you didn't do enough with the year but yeah just be kind to yourself and you know what be grateful for life and i know people tend to feel like when they're chill with how their life is right now it makes them seem like they're not ambitious enough but at the same time being in just this constant anxiety of just like oh i'm not i'm not doing enough i'm not doing enough it doesn't help you so just relax and enjoy the fact that you are still alive and you've got this time and you've got time with your family and i know a lot of people are affected by the pandemic and my heart goes out to you i'm so 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 sorry to anybody who has lost a family member during this pandemic um my prayers go out to you but okay so let me just share this two cups method with you first of all i want to tell you how powerful this method is and why i think it's very powerful so there's a, a japanese researcher and healer his name is dr masaru emoto i hope you said his name right so dr masaru emoto ex did an experiment on how intentions physically alter molecular structure of water right so what he did is he took um words well he wrote down words right and then like bad negative words with dark energy and just snacks things on them right and then he put them on a glass of water and then he took positive loving words and you know just words with good intentions and he put them on another glass of water and when he did his research the two glasses of water had very different um molecular structures like the crystal molecular structures were very different so basically what he did was then he froze the water and then the water with the evil words and then, you know, just the bad intentions had a different molecular structure from the words um, that from the water that had the positive words. Right. So that just showed how um, just the vibration of words is very powerful. And imagine this was like written words on these two cups listen if this is not making sense to you please research dr masari Emoto. i'll write his name there and it'll make sense to you because you know me and explaining things sometimes it just yeah so anyway let me just get into this two cups method basically what you're going to need is two cups this is what you're gonna need you're gonna need two cups they don't need to be clear cups like mine but um when i did mine i did use two clear cups and then um you're going to need some water i have my water right here and you're going to need two pieces of paper right you're going to need two pieces of blank paper like this and a pencil or a pen i don't think it matters because i usually write in pencil and it doesn't really bother me you're going to need a pencil or a pen or whatever you feel comfortable writing with and you're going to need either you're going to stick the notes on your cups with cello tape or you're going to stick them on with glue right but they don't have to be stuck on there like forever so don't use super glue anything like that so all we're going to try to do is just get the words to stick on the cups right so now uh what you're going to do is you're going to write down your current state that you are trying to change so let me just 
because i did this ritual already but let me just make an example by writing um i'm gonna write okay healthy eating oh i have unhealthy eating habits i have unhealthy listen and i'm trying to lose weight and everything but i just eat whatever i feel like so i will write you can write as many things as you want to by the way so i'm just gonna write this as an example so i'll write unhealthy eating habits okay fine so i have that there don't laugh at my handwriting i you unhealthy eating habits right and then like i said write as many things as you want to so it could be like a whole list of things that you're trying to change if you also you know struggle with dieting like i do or if you struggle with um i don't know just anything if it's a financial situation um you say you have maybe an inconsistent uh flow of money you know so you write that inconsistent flow of money or you write uh bad spending habits if that's your issue so you just write this whole list and now i would advise that the two lists correspond right because now on this piece of paper what you're going to do is write what you are trying to then have that corresponds with this so now i need to now i wrote unhealthy eating habits what i'm going to write here then would be um healthy eating habits so this is what i'm trying to now move into healthy eating habits so that's right there cool so um like i said with your list if it corresponds with an, the other one it doesn't have to correspond with the other one but i think it just makes better sense when they do correspond because if you're going to write down that you know you have inconsistent flow of money then it would be better to write on the next um on this piece of paper on the positive piece of paper that consistent flow of money right so that makes better sense but then it does not have to correspond my list didn't really correspond that much like there were things that didn't really correspond but i feel like it's working already and i know this is just like a, what is it today when did i do this ritual what day is it today anyway so actually um yeah so my two lists didn't really like correspond correspond but it made sense to me because i knew what i was trying to achieve in the positive notes i wrote everything that i was i wanted i wrote it down very specifically and this is the thing i feel like people sometimes we don't want to say what we really want you know and um i don't what's the english word of amasoni see namasoni for ourselves to say actually i really want a partner or actually i really want to have a lot of money or actually i really want to get like a better car or i want to move to a bigger place or i just want you know what i mean like people are, are, are afraid to ask for the things that they want but you have to be very very like intentional about the things that you want otherwise you're never going to get them there's a madonna quote that i love i think it is a madonna quote actually it says people don't get what they want because they don't ask for what they want something along those lines anyway so okay cool let me continue with this so we're going to then stick i get it unhealthy habits i am going to stick it on this let me use my glue the other day i used cello tape but let me just try it with this glue okay i don't know if that's gonna work because there's stuff on it but let's see if it comes out now cool i took my little glue and i put it on my cup so now the note is there this is the unhealthy habits cup right which is the current state and then the healthy habits note goes on the other cup so i'm just going to glue it on there okay so that is my healthy habits cup right so now I have these two cups with their notes on them. Oh no. Let me just stick that back on. I think this works better with cello tape actually because I used cello tape the other day. So those are my two cups, ne? So this is my healthy habits cup and this is my unhealthy habits cup. So what I'm then going to do 
is take my water i'm gonna take my water and my water is going to be poured into my unhealthy habits cup because this is now my current state i need to so this is my current state, the state that I'm trying to change, that I am right now. I accept, Palisa, you eat nonsense, ne? but you cry about your weight, limkab. Fine. I put my water in there. It doesn't have to be a lot of water, but I just like to put it like this. Let me just, I'm just going to use this much water. It's fine. And then in here, in the healthy habits cup, you don't pour anything in Laban. So you don't pour anything in the healthy habits cup. And I just need to quickly mention, if you feel uncomfortable about doing certain rituals, because there's a lot of like these spiritual rituals and, you know, I see a lot of them on TikTok where they'll be like, yeah, I like this and do this and face this direction. If it feels uncomfortable to you, do not do it. But if, if you're like, no, I can do this, it's fine. I would advise that you pray before you do it. Because there's, you know, dark spirits are very, very opportunistic. They're very opportunistic. They're just lurking, waiting for you to make a mistake. You know? So um, make sure that you pray. When I did the quantum leap method, I did light a white candle. I, I lit an incense stick and i cleared my energy i prayed to god to guide me and that he may watch over me as i'm doing the ritual and that nothing you know what i mean there's nothing like creepy about it you can do it during the day i did it at night but you can do it during the day i think you can do it at any time of the day as far as i know you can do it at a time where you feel most comfortable nothing is creepy about it like we said it's just water two cups and a note um but i do feel like if things make you feel uncomfortable you should pray and ask for guidance whatever your prayer method is or your belief system is then tap into that and ask for guidance what one so cool then the next thing is okay what you're going to do and you've got water in your unhealthy habits cup you hold your water before you drink you don't drink it at all. you don't drink it yet <laughs> so you hold your water and you basically you think about these things so i'll sit here and i'll think about i know that you know i had a pizza last night and i wasn't supposed to and sometimes i drink alcohol too late in the night and i just be drinking stuff that i don't need to be drinking just like okay i don't have to say it out loud right i don't need to say it out loud because another thing water is a very very powerful thing um it's very powerful because you can actually make a cup of tea or make you pour yourself a glass of water and sit an intention into your water and be like i'm gonna have an amazing day today you know with your first glass of water in the day if you have your lemon water a warm lemon water your green tea like me you just say you know what i'm gonna have an amazing day today and that's the energy that's carried into your glass of water and you drink it again so just think about you know think about your current state this is my current state think about it in your mind i understand what i'm doing and i understand how i want to change right cool and then what you'll do is you pour this water and you pour it in here You pour the water in there into your healthy habits cup. Ne? Then you hold this glass of water, this cup of water. You hold it and now you're setting the good intentions. So as I sit here, I'm going to think about the good intentions, about how I'm going to nourish my body, how I'm going to love my body, how I'm going to eat better and just practice better habits and this is now going to raise my vibration and i'm just going to obviously like now i'm thinking better and i understand that sometimes you can feel like uh no like oh you know you feel discouraged i'm never going to be a listen you will be able to change people change me myself i've changed many times you will change don't discourage yourself ne? just set your intention and trust in yourself trust in what you're doing so you're going to sit with your healthy habits cup or your um all the things that you're trying to now manifest into your life and just sit there with it let it raise your vibration hold the cup hold the water like hold it 
and feel it feel what you're trying to or not even trying yeah i like to say trying um what you are moving into what you are quantum leaping into is a better version of yourself you're the version that eats better does better things exercises more all of that and then you drink it right so i'm not going to drink it right now because i already did my ritual i already did my ritual but you're going to drink all of this water ne? this is just plain water nothing is in the water you don't nothing nothing if you want to pray into the water you can pray into the water because i feel like if you use your beliefs and your intentions and the things that work for you in your life and you incorporate them in the th in the methods you know because i will share more methods there's methods there's a quantum leap method that i do in the shower um you will it will work better for you because it like collaborates it coronates something it's together with <laughs> your existing um belief system right so it's easier for you to believe in it so that's what you do you then drink the water you drink the water Ufedice, you're done cool so what do you do with the notes what you do with the notes you can take both the notes tear them up throw them in the bin um what i did is i took my unhealthy habits note i took it i see it has to come off i took my unhealthy habits note and i burnt it i lit it with my candle because my candle was still on i lit it with my candle i burnt it and the ashes flew away because for me that was like i was releasing that old energy right i was releasing that old energy so it was done it was gone right so with the healthy habits like i said you can take it again do what you want with it and you can burn it as well and you know the intention that you said on a good thing you are burning burning it to release it into the universe whatever you want i believe in tailor making your own um not faith or whatever but just incorporating the things that you believe in and setting your own intentions right and you take your healthy habits note if you feel like it you can take it and put it somewhere private where you know you can return to it another time um what i did with mine is that i took mine i took my healthy notes and then i put them under one of my crystals overnight because i felt like my crystal was going to just put you know good energies in it i don't know and then i took it and i put it in one of my diaries so yeah you can do whatever you want so that is about it that's basically how you do the quantum leaping two cups method if um yeah if you want to try it um i feel like if you could hold out you can do it anytime you want to but if you can hold out and do it at new year's eve imagine all that energy right imagine all that energy so if you could do it in new year's eve um it could almost kind of signify like a new fresh start for you right so i did mine on the 12th like i said already but i think i'm just gonna do another something else maybe at new year's eve because i really like doing these little things and i will share the shower one the shower one is actually really easy but i will do another separate video on that and but the most important thing when you do anything in manifestation is your intention your intention is what makes everything like work you are the power the power is you if i drink this water and i'm like this is healthy juice every time i drink this i'm so healthy it's nourishing my body giving me vitamins my body loves me and i love my body you see things like that they make a difference if you believe in it i'm telling you if you don't believe in it there's a lot of people who are like yeah you know a uh, lot of assumption low vibration love what these things don't work yes they don't work because you don't believe in them duh the whole point is for you to believe in them for them to work if you don't believe you don't believe then they don't work for you then live your life be basic you know what i mean but anyway you guys thank you so much for watching please do subscribe like and share and um what else oh yes and enjoy your december be safe be safe be safe be safe please nibin safety boy love i love you bye bye